Hello guys, good day, good morning, Basenyo, or good evening. Okay, so this is Karida Engineering Video Tutorials, and welcome to my YouTube channel. Okay, I am Engineer Ronnie Karida the Second, and uh, that's my email address, as you can see on your screen. Okay. If you want more videos and for upcoming videos, no? and don't forget to click like and subscribe, of course. No? So I'll be happy if I'll be part of your um, learning progress no? sa base sa YouTube channels. Okay, and for that, turn and enjoy watching the video. Okay, so. Um, today, we'll be discussing our sample problem lang muna. Okay, so supposedly I will be discussing principle first and um, I'd like to try first in my first video solving a problem. Okay, so um, para how things work no? and how they work out in a video. Okay, so any, without any further ado, I will start with the problem and let's solve it together. Okay, so follow. Okay, so here's the problem. A hole is punched at A in a plastic sheet by applying a 600 Newton force P to ND of lever CD, which is rigidly attached to the solid cylindrical shaft BC. Uh, design specifications required that the displacement of D should not exceed 15 mm from the time the punch first touches the plastic sheet to the time it actually penetrates it. Determine the required diameter of shaft BC if the shaft is made of a steel with a shear modulus 77 gigapascal and allowable torsional shearing stress of 80 megapascal. So basically, this problem is relative to a torsion, no? So strength of materials. Okay, now, um, before I will show the solution, let us discuss how this um, mechanism works. No? So this is the lever CD, and ito yung sinasabi nilang shaft BC having the length of 500 mm. Okay, and it is stated in the problem that the lever and the shaft BC is rigidly attached to point C. Okay, so kapag sinabing rigid, it is not deformed. Okay, so it means if ano yung movement ng lever CD, that would be passed through the shaft BC. Okay, so how do we do that? Okay, ganito yan. Kasi sabi dito, um, the displacement of D should not exceed 15 mm from the time the punch first touches the plastic sheet. Okay, so ganito yan. If a force P is applied at point D, the lever will go down, paganyan, and the shaft BC will rotate counterclockwise because of course, downward to yung motion, and it is attached at point C, it will move counterclockwise. And syempre, merong relative angle dyan na na-create out of the turning of the shaft BC. And as, as it rotates or as it twists through its axis, its uh, longitudinal axis, axis, and it will penetrate at point A, of course. No? Mag-penetrate yan sa point A. Okay. So, hindi daw lalagpas ng 15 mm. So, syempre, if 15 mm yung naka-allowable na deflection dito sa D, 15 mm din yung na-rotate ng BC and 15 mm din yung na-penetrate sa point A. So, basically, yan yung mechanism of the figure. Okay. So, ganito yan. Let's isolate point C and D, the lever. Okay. So, this is the shaft in front view. Yan ang shaft. Shaft C or shaft BC. Okay. So, syempre, merong radius yan. Um, radius of the shaft BC. And, of course, ito yung lever CD. Ito po yan, no? Ah, hindi ko na lang siya gidraw. Yung free body diagram na lang yung importante. Okay, so sa point D, merong P na 600 Newton. And yung 300 mm na length of the lever, of course, that will serve as the centricity of the force with respect to the center of the shaft BC. Okay, so by that, we can calculate the torsion that is basically force times the perpendicular distance. And that should be that one. Okay, 
P times E 600 times 300 mm, you can determine that by calculator, 180 newton meter. Okay, yan po. Alright, so basically, ito yan. So sinabi that it will deflect ang point D dito at a certain 15 mm deflection. So yan. No? So basically yung effect niyan, if mag-deflect yan, mag-rotate yung BC and dito yan, oh, mag-rotate din siya ng 15 mm. So I would like to show you this one. Uh, I-isolate naman natin yung shaft BC at point C. Okay, so ito yung radius. So ito, agi-exaggerate ko na lang. Nag-rotate siya ng paganyan. Okay, counterclockwise. No? So it will create an angle of twist na tinatawag natin sa torsion na topic no? sa strength of materials. Okay, so this one, this is um, approximately equal to 15 mm. Kasi uh, ganito nga, no? yung lever CD is rigidly attached to shaft BC. So if ano yung movement dito, that would be the movement also of this shaft BC. Okay. And syempre, that will serve as our arc length. No? Kana siya. So remember, sa geometry, um, this is an arc length and radius and theta. Di ba? Meron niyang relationship. No? The relationship is ito. S is equal to R theta na naka-radians. So arc length is equal to the radius of the circle um, times the angle of a uh, subtended angle in radians. Okay, so yan po. Okay, now, ang unknown is the diameter of the shaft BC. So if we have the radius, remember that the radius is kalahati po yan ng diameter. So we could say 0.5 of the diameter. Okay. So, we can express yung theta in terms of R, S and R. Meron naman tayo, 15 at saka ito. Okay. So, rearranging, theta is equal to 15 mm over R, which is equal to 0.5 of D. Okay. Yan. So, basically, magagamit natin to later. And isa pa, magagamit natin in terms of the diameter also. Yan yung tinatawag na polar moment of inertia denoted as j and for circles that is pi over 32 d or the diameter raised to the fourth power okay so basically approximately yung polar moment of inertia is approximated as the sum of the moment of inertia with respect to x and with respect to the y axis so that is pi over 32 because pi over 64 plus pi over 64 ito po yan Okay, so ito yung mga kailangan natin. Okay, so now we will de um, design the diameter of the shaft BC based on ano yung mga given sa design specifications. Okay, so ito yan. Okay, let's start with the uh, basis ng angle of twist. Remember, meron tong formula. Angle of twist is just equal to TL over JG. Ah, walang problema, torsion given. Ang L is ito, uh, the shaft BC, uh, length niyan is 500 mm. As you can see to the previous slide, i-check nyo na lang po if uh, saan to galing, BC. Nasa drawing lang naman yan. Yung J uh, ulit, ito yan, na-solve na natin. Hindi naka-express in terms of diameter. G is called the last, um, ano ba, modulus of rigidity or that is called the shear modulus, no? another term. And that is expressed in gigapascal. Okay, yung theta is ito. Siyempre, that would be the angle of twist. No? Na twist kasi yan because of the lever CD. Okay, so substituting the values, that would be 15 mm over 0.5 of diameter, that is theta. Torsion, 180. Um, multiply natin ng ayan, 500 um, J and yung G is ito. Alright, so yan po. So basically, makancel yung isang D and you can solve that using shift solve. Uh, common sa atin mga engineering but for now, limited na yung mga functions sa calculator. So makancel na yung D, magiging cube na lang and that would be the diameter na lalabas. Okay? And we cannot say na this is now our answer. Take note, meron tayong allowable torsional shearing stress and we need to account that one also. Okay, so ito yan. 
uh, torsional shearing stress that is in the formula of TR over J, where T is the torsion again, ang R is the radius of curvature, and J is the polar moment of inertia. Okay, so from that, substitute. Uh, anyway, given lang muna tayo. And that is, ito nakagiven, 80 megapascal. R or the radius of curvature is expressed in diameter. Of course, that is one half of the diameter. Okay. And J is na solve natin kanina. Substitute all of the parameters. You can now solve for the diameter. Okay. And it came out 22.55 mm. All right. So, yan. Okay. But dalawa yung diameter na nakuha natin. Okay. Based on allowable angle of twist, diameter is 7.35. Based on allowable torsional shearing, uh, torsional shearing stress, that is 22.55 mm. Which of the two is yung gagamitin? Okay. Now, to govern the design specification, always choose the largest diameter. Okay. You may check that one to the previous formulas. Okay. And by that, um, diameter is 22.55 and that would be the answer. Okay, so that would be our sample problem and I think that will end our video. Thank you for watching and I hope to continue these video tutorials and see you. Keep safe and get the server.